Hey guys, what's up? I'm Boyka, and on this video, I'm gonna be going over the Ocean Conqueror artifacts. The Ocean Conqueror artifacts are located like the, the domain for them is located right here at Dragon Spine, and the domain is called Peak of Vindagnir. And this is the only domain that we have so far, like in this location right here in Dragon Spine. And when you come over here, you can see that we have two new artifacts, and one of them is going to be this one right here Ocean Conqueror. We can get this either on 4 star or 5 star, which are going to be like the legendary. Uh, the five stars of course and the two pieces of sets gives us hydro damage bonus plus 15 percent and when we move on to the four piece set one we're gonna see that after using elemental skill increases normal attack and charge attack damage by 30 percent for 15 seconds and from this domain right here you can farm basically the whole set and that is gonna include the flower gilded corsage the feather gust of nostalgia the hourglass copper compass the cup goblet of thundering deep and finally, the headpiece, Wine Stained Tricorn. I don't know if, it, if that's how you pronounce that word, but yeah. Wine Stained Tricorn. Okay, so this, this is the domain right here. And as you can see right here, I can farm it basically until the max. And it is the uh, domain of blessing, Elegaic Rhyme 4. Uh, and this is going to be like the max one over here. And you can see that we start farming the gold ones after stage 3. So on stage 3, we start farming the gold ones. And I'm gonna put up uh, videos right now on two of my clears and what kind of rewards I got on it. So you can see like the different types of artifacts I got from there and the rewards. And after that, I'm gonna go in one more time and also show you the fight and the rewards as well. So now I'm going to enter the domain and fight it and show you like how it works. I have fought it a few times now and I kind of like learned the tactics so to say but like not like not so much still because like there's like so much happening in this uh, domain right here. And on the final stage the one I'm going to fight right now we only have two enemies and one of them is a beast mage and it's the uh, cryo beast mage the ice one. And we also have that uh, new monster that would like a new enemy that we got added right here. If it's not still on the book, but it is going to be the, this one right here. He literal shift in, but it's going to be the cryo one, like the ice one, uh, that, that got like just got added from the dragon spine update. And I'm gonna start it right here right now. And the abyss mage is going to be on the right side, and the shift in is going to be on the left side. So let's start right now. And I'm just gonna focus the abyss mage right here and just like try to take him down as fast as I can. Oh my god, there's a really bad place for me there. I got through, like stuck in between them, but he's almost down right here. I'm just gonna spawn my official bird. Okay, he's gonna jump on me. I have to heal my razor right here, but I don't know if I can eat right now because the ones I just showed you the the like the, the claiming rewards one before I started this one right here. I actually like ate a lot there. Okay, these are like bombs right there that were like just like standing there. So don't step on them because they're gonna explode and deal a lot of damage. So after taking the Beast Mage out, I'm just gonna like focus on him now and try to like use all of my abilities over here with Klee and stuff, spawn my fi uh, my official bird and as you can see right here this platform that I'm standing on right now it's like red which means that that is gonna help me melt down the the shield that like like the ice that I like have, have around me that which is like making me lose HP basically after after some time and I'm gonna have to use my Barber right here because this guy is like deals too much damage man like it's it's just too annoying so as you can see that that platform is like changing and all of the other platforms if you're wet and step on them you're gonna basically freeze like the other the, the other platform that's like on the other side right there i'm just like trying not to take damage here these platforms over here that like white uh you're gonna like freeze on them if you're like wet so if you're wet if you're using barber like me as a healer don't step on them because you're gonna like freeze and he's gonna like deal all the damage then 
Oh, let's ult with each official right here so we can spawn the bird again. Use my Klee. For some reason, my grenades didn't spawn there. Okay. So if you don't kill him in, like, in a certain amount of time, he's he's gonna like regen, uh, regenerate his shield. So make sure to bring someone that has fire elemental uh, damage, like Klee right here, so you can like melt down his shield easily. And I'm gonna spawn my official bird again. I don't know my, why my razor just attacked there, like, behind him. Okay. He's almost dead over here. A few more hits. Maybe one more. I'm just gonna use my official here. I don't wanna get close to him there. Okay, and he's down. So, after we have taken both of them down, you can go and claim your rewards. But as you can see right there, there is, like, the white platforms are gonna be a lot more than the red ones. So... Look for the right platform when you're like freezing and just tap on it and stay on it a few, a few seconds and when the cold like goes down then you can like get out of it and start fighting again. But be careful when you're like inside them so you don't take a lot of damage. And here I'm gonna collect the rewards with condensed resin and let's see here. So they added like this new uh, kind of like mechanism where instead of like the items falling down on the ground uh, they uh, it says obtained and they show you this like page with like all of the uh, like rewards you have gotten. So I got uh, uh, 5050 Mora. I got uh, 20, uh, 200 adventure XP and also companionship XP, 40 of it. And you can see also the, uh, the all of the artifacts you got from uh, right here. And they start from the like lowest uh, rarity and they go like slowly up to the uh, like more rare ones. So you can see right here, I got like the co uh, Ocean Conquer uh, flower and I also got like the other artifact that we also got right here with the new update. And I also got the cup and I, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I got the cup and the flower and you can here also check out the rates on it. You can see that my flower got HP percentage, crit rate percentage and crit damage percentage which just actually looks really good right here. 3.5 and 7.8. It, it doesn't look bad at all. And on my cup, it does really good. I got attack percentage uh, and I also got crit rate percentage right here. Defense, which is, I, I don't mind it. Okay, whatever. And I also got attack, but it's not percentage, it's like normal attack. And this is how the new mechanism right here works. Yeah. And you can also click continue challenge if you want to continue fighting in this uh, domain right here. Or you can click do leave domain if you want to like leave uh, the domain and do something else instead of like farming this domain right here. So this is where you can farm the new uh, Ocean Conqueror artifacts. If the video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.